the wrist. Welcome back to the workshop. Today we have another project in the sword rehilting series. Today we are going to be doing the Tachi or Okatana. Now, we've kind of done this project before. We did it with the Simitana when we made the Katana into an abomination. Now, I wasn't too happy with that project for a multitude of reasons. First off, I didn't have that long to get it done, so the quality wasn't up to what I wanted it to be. However, this time I'm going to be taking my time to turn this uh, uh, Okatana, this Tachi, into a work of art. First off, it is longer. So the blade is longer, which means hopefully it can be a bit more proportional. A little bit about this Tachi. We've actually used this one in a multitude of videos and I don't know who the manufacturer is. Shad doesn't know who the manufacturer is. So we don't actually know who the manufacturer is. But in terms of the blade itself, uh, I've used this on multiple occasions and I have used it I wasn't holding back and it is still straight as an arrow and incredibly sharp. I'm, I actually really, really like this blade. The fit and finish of the handle and stuff is actually not too bad at all. The only issue I have with it is the sayer. The sayer is a little bit cheap. So with all that out of the way, let's get started with today's project. I am uh, genuinely excited to get this one done because I think it will be a lot better than last time. Now, try and think of a name in the comments, not the Simitana. Let's try and give it a bit more of a cooler name this time, yeah guys? So here is the finished blade. I am a lot happier this time around than I was last time. Uh, I got to spend a lot more time on it, so I was able to put a lot more TLC into this one, and the quality of the fittings that I used was uh, a lot higher. And I think there's something about the color scheme of this one where everything looks like it matches. It looks like the blade was supposed to come like this. So uh, I'm happy with how this one has turned out, but I think we should head back to Shadowversity, uh, get to some cutting. I wanna see how this thing handles against some pool noodles. Now that we're back at Shadowversity, it's time to show Shad 
our creation. Shad, I have a brand new sword for you. Oh, you do? Yeah. Are you excited? I'm very excited. On a scale of one to 10? I'm an 11. Okay, well, here I have created another. This one's not a Simitana. <laughs> That's the name! No, 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 no. This is, this is sexy. This is something else. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. It's, Leave it in the what would you call it? I don't know. Leave ah, it yeah. Leave it in the comments. It's a Simitana. Have a look at this one. Okay, okay, hang on. Let me, let me, yeah. let me see it all. All right. So we've got a longer blade and this looks much, much cleaner, doesn't much it? Much cleaner, much more aesthetically mm -hmm, pleasing. Mm -hmm. And uh, for reference, here is this one. Yes. Uh, the original one. I've changed the pommel to a, a training one. Yes. Because it yes. looks nicer. Okay, okay. So let's do this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Ah. <laughs> oh, this feels very nice. You like the weight of that one? Yeah. Because that one, the weight on this is not as uh, balanced uh, as the other one. This one is a little bit, a little bit more top heavy. Little, like top, yeah, yeah. But um, just the extra grip, right, right. And uh, I'm liking it. You I'm liking it. Want a couple it. of test cuts? Oh, heck yeah. I've got all of these and we've got some water bottles as well. Give it a couple of swings. That's a... Tell me how it feels in the hand. All right, so low power, just a, just a very simple. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, that was a. Ha, 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 I messed up the last one, that was me. The, okay, yeah. Yeah. So this one is quite like it may have the same sort of aesthetic features as the other one, but it's mm -hmm. actually quite different. First mm -hmm. off, cross guard and the pommel are much thinner, much more refined than last time. Yeah. As well as the handle, the handle is actually made a little bit thinner. It is like like that. I really like yeah. that. Uh, and because that of that, nice. and because we actually started with a nicer blade, just in mm -hmm. it's longer, so everything is more proportional yes. this time. It makes for just a much better experience. Well, let's compare this to a standard size longsword now, because remember, one of the purposes of this project was to uh, fix all the problems I had with the katana. The katana has some great virtues that I really like, but one of the problems for me was, well, yeah, lack of hand protection, the weight, but also the length. And so now we rehilted. All right, so it's still on the shorter end, but. It's, it's much longer than, say, a, a, regular katana, a standard yeah. size katana. Let's have a look at that, okay? Yeah. By about nah, two to three inches, about two inches, right? Um, and that makes a difference. It does, it does, actually. And with this one, uh, we got a lot of comments on the last one, people saying we basically just made a mess up. These aren't messes because of how the handle is constructed. Yes. Yes. These are falchions. I mean, by strict, but- no. By definition. <laughs> Thing is though, one of the definitions is European blade. This is not a European blade. Okay, and as soon as you get a curved sword that's not but European, I mean, but in the medieval period, it's a scimitar. I mean, this is made in China. You know, <laughs> those made in China. <laughs> you know, if we want to go real or detail orientated here, but it, I would consider it a falchion. I, I, I we, have, the, we have the Roman, so, we have okay, the Roman okay, katana in there, all right. made by katana manufacturers. Okay, okay. If we had to use European terminology to identify, say, a katana, then mm. what would you call? It? I, I, I think I know what I would. But if it, if it was a strict European definition, it's a mess. It would be a mess. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like because of the handle construction. Exactly. Uh, it, it's a mess. Up. That is the main difference between something like a mess and a falchion. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one, I'm much more happy with. I think yeah. this one came out. Much more beautiful. I mean, just look at the yeah, look at the proportions on this. Look at the the weight and the well, balance. I'll show you this one because, like, and I also want to show people just the the quality of the fittings that we used last time. Mm -hmm. Like this was the original one. You have a look at this. Look at how chunky this cross guard is. Yeah. And especially oh, if you go flat profile, face it forward. See how wide it is in compare. Like. This is a much more refined, elegant, functional cross guard than this kind of overbuilt, yeah. chunky one. And I modified this one because originally it was much longer and stuff yeah. like that. I'm still not too happy with how this one turned out, but this one, much happier with. I like this one. It's I just like this one. Oh. I mean, apart from some finer details, this one is definitely more refined. This is better. Still, that has like got a lot of the like, key characteristics. <laughs> but uh, the, uh, I think we've done it. I think we've actually made the ultimate katana this one is the ultimate one the, the ultimate one. katana so let's just let's do some more cutting oh yes yeah i'm very happy that this one still feels katana-esque in, in the weight distance. yeah uh, 
Yeah, that's very much um, katana-esque. Interesting, like, it's got such a thinner blade, and you really, uh, for some reason, the profile just makes it stand out that the blade is so much thinner in comparison to European swords. Yeah. Compare these two. And, wow, very similar in length as well. And so... They look but, like brothers. <laughs> but look at the width of one compared to the other. Yet at the same time, the actual edge bevels, yeah. if you have a look at the edge bevel, look how, like, the edge bevel on the katana is longer because it's single-edged and it can take advantage of that. Yeah. That's one of the advantages of a katana. Uh, one of the virtues, honestly. I really like that about the blade geometry. And then we improve a lot of the other features. Yeah, it's uh, funny that I like this one as well, even though, <laughs> technically speaking, this pommel design... Is it similar to the others? Very similar. It's just been cut. Yeah. It still looks Middle Eastern, doesn't it? Not this one. You reckon? I reckon no, it not does. this one. I don't think this one. Mm -mm. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And, uh, but this isn't our only rehilting project. No, it's not. In fact, well, first of all, we might need to do a dedicated review on this, like we did with the uh, Simitana 1.0. Yeah. This is the Simitana 2.0 now. I think this is the full V2, next, just yeah, V2. Yeah. Version 2. Um, so we're going to do a dedicated video just on this sword, really put it through its paces, deep dive kind of analysis. Uh, and then we are also going to be, well, making a true abomination. We have, we have rehilted a katana with a European hilt. Yes. That leaves you with spare parts. Yes. So what do you do with those spare parts? You can't, you can't just throw them away. I mean, it's a katana hilt. Yeah, and, and so, a and long so, sword. Fair, like, fair is fair. So we've rehilted a katana. The next stage is to rehilt a long sword with katana fittings, a katana handle. Yes. Uh, but <laughs> that's going to conclude today's video, guys. Hope you uh, genuinely enjoyed. If you want to see the version one of this, the first time we yes, did it, yeah. uh, where I, was, I wasn't too happy about that one. Uh, I the, still love it. The video will be somewhere around here. But now I've got two. Yeah, this one's good. This one's better. I like this one. I like them both. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.